Hello there guys and gals, the Welsh Cinder here back with yet another 100% achievement and trophy guide and this time we are getting it all in Mighty Aphid. Now, this game was developed by Cascadia Games, published by Chili Dog Interactive and is available for the small, low low price of £4.19. Now this is a run and gun type style game where the object if is simple. Find all civilians in a level and kill all the monsters around them to rescue them. Rescue all of them and you can then complete the level. Is as simple as that. But as always with Chili Dog, there is a cheat code available, and basically this is just the ultimate one. We can now use God Mode, which, if you could probably tell, lets, lets us have infinite health. Nice. Be aware though that there are no checkpoints on a level, so but you can still die by falling off cliffs and into lava, etc, etc. Uh, achievements wise all you have to do is complete the level and the resulting boss fight but like I said with god mode enabled you could probably have a harder time taking a pee than beating said bosses I mean if you got kidney stones and that's really hard but I mean just regular old peepeeville so that's that no missables but this walkthrough is available so you can find the same people civilians as I can as a few of them can be turds to find anyway with that being said, then let us begin. Now, I pause the game here and pop in the cheat code. And then with that, what you'll see just on the top left-hand corner is God Mode. The only cheat that we can use. So, press A to use that. And then, just carry on going. So, you press the X button to shoot, the A button to jump, uh, A button twice to double jump. And that's basically it. <laughs> that's, uh, that's a pretty... That's pretty much the rundown as we can get. But like I said, these civilians, a lot of them are easy enough to hide, uh, find. But um, a lot of them can be quite tricky to find. So first one, as you can see here then, guy with the worms for arms. Yes, he's hiding in this little sewer. So it, and it, it can be easily missed and it can be frustrating having to keep going uh, back and forth. Even though the levels are not that long. So you jump down here, there is number three. And if we head to the left... Now, as you can see in the top left hand corner, the heart, obviously we don't need to worry about that. There's guy number four as well. But the little percentage, um, just underneath it. Now that is going to come mega in handy for the sixth and final level. And what you do is basically, as you progress through the levels, you get upgrades. Um, just by the way, while you're here, we're just going to keep going up and up until we get to the very top of this building. So we can kick some more ass. Here we go. And again, don't worry about being hurt because you can't because you are invincible. Anyway, like I said, um, there's going to be, as you can see, the gems or diamonds or whatever you want to call them. Basically, that puts the percentage up. Now, what you'll get from the next level is the triple shot. And the next level after that is the wings. But they take, um, obviously, the more you use, the more um, percentage that you use. Um, so it's probably worth, we'll get get into that a little bit later on. There was the um, penultimate guy right there, by the way. So again, a lot of them can be um, basically just straight in your path, but there are a few others that are not so much in your path. So that is why we do that. But it's always worth just collecting these diamonds or gems on your way, uh, but we'll get into that a little bit later on. So head to the right, we're gonna head up, t up to stairs now. And the final woman's going to be right Mia. So just kill all the enemies around. It says, again, it, it is as simple as that. But I am going to keep doing commentary. Because some people are just turnip heads to find. And nobody likes that. Right, that's that. As soon as you get all the civilians, we're going to head to the right. Get yourself into the white flag zone. Proper French, that. I'm just joking. I'm just joking. That's It's an old time joke. I'm, I'm sorry. You know. French people like surrendering apparently so they use the white flag I, I don't know anyway this is the first boss fight now you can still actually die because they will charge you off the edge uh, sometimes you get flying monsters or but this time we're gonna do is just keep shooting keep uh, keep holding the uh, X button and as you can see there as soon as he starts to charge you get your ass up man up and try not to die that always comes in handy but like I said, with this God Mode Enable, it literally just... Man, like I said, it, farting is harder than <laughs> completing this game. Or doing these boss fights, anyway. So, first level, first boss done. You will, of course, get two achievements. For some reason, they didn't unlock um, on screen for me, and it was the same for the next level as well. Um, 
well, I know why, probably because I already completed them, <laughs> but here we go. So, we're on to level 2 now. So, like I said, after every level, after every boss level, you will get two achievements. So, here we go. Just, again, keep on blasting. Now, as you can see, the triple shot is very good, but it does take some of the percentage away. And we need as much as we can get, really, for the final level, just because there's a lot of flying and a, a lot of things, quite a few things that we need to do. So, just my advice, just don't go mad with the shooting, and you'll basically be fine. Anyway, drop down here first. We're going to see our first guy. There he is, old Wormageddon. Armageddon? F Flamageddon? Ah, whatever. Ah, then just keep going to the right. And then what we're going to do, grab these coins and then just jump all the way down. And we've got a little penis worm there. Or what it looks like. Um, <laughs> getting her. So now we can drop down here and just head to the left. That should be two people from there. Jump up to this ladder right here. There's going to be a third guy as soon as we get past these... I don't know what they're meant to be, rats or something. Big ass spiders. And there is woman number three. So yeah, just keep collecting all the gems, all the diamonds, until you can sell them all on Amazon or on the black market. You can get rich as hell, and then you can retire in luxury. Which, of course, would be really nice, except that'll never happen to us. Sad. Jump up here as well, and we're going to find our fourth person. Guy number whatever that is. And yeah, you, like I said, you don't actually have to collect or kill all the enemies, collect all the things. But genuinely, it, it is just, honestly, it's genuinely just worth doing. So we're going to drop down here. And then what we're going to do, we're going to platform our ass all the way to the right uh, to find the next poison. So jump up. And this is basically, I mean, what, <laughs> what game does this remind you of? Hmm. I wonder what this took inspiration out of. Hmm, hmm, hmm. I think we all know the answer to that one. Still, this was a pretty fun game. And could probably be enjoyable if you were doing it legit as well. But, you know, anybody got time for that? We want achievements and we want them now. Uh, there was actually nothing on the right. This was my bad. There was just a box there full of gems and diamonds. So, yeah, that's why, as you can see, I'm not just totally going nuts with the shooting. Um, because the percentage is just going down and it just comes in much handy just for the final two levels more or less now we're just going to keep on heading to the right now we're going to head up basically there's only really one path that you can go in these first couple of levels don't drop down there of course because skull equals death and if you didn't know that then well now you learn something new and I'm happy to help you Make sure to grab that heart. But we don't need to because we am invincible now. Anyway, we're just going to keep heading to the right and we're going to drop down here where big boat bloatfly is. And we've got person number six. That is that. So that's that for this level. Now we can just keep on moving ahead and finish the game. Obviously, if you do get to the sort of end of the level without collecting everyone, basically our, I don't know, Dr. Man kind of thing, whatever the hell he is, basically says that we still need to rescue the civilians. I mean, it's literally only a worm. They could probably stand on it themselves, rescue themselves, but since that's not the case, well, sorry. Anyway, here we go then. We are on to boss number two, Ladybug. You could, Again, you could probably just get underneath her, shoot her ass off and her lady bows, but apparently that's not happening. So this one's fine, we don't need to dodge or anything, he doesn't really charge us off, so just keep shooting. You can actually shoot him off the screen as I'm doing right here, and that's going to kill him dead. And that's going to be level 2 out of 6 done already. Well, congratulations! And here we go then, on to level 3. This one again is, is pretty easy enough, um, but there are two people that we've got to save underwater. The rest are basically straight in front of our path. There's number 1. And, well, thank you very much. 
I only take payment in favors of the good-looking nature. Anyway, so we don't need to do that. We'll, uh, we've actually got to keep going up for the minute. So this is where we get the wings. So you press press double A. And that'll obviously get us jumping and flying. And there's the second guy already. Uh, obviously, you know, keep collecting the gems and the diamonds, etc. But head down into the water now. We're going to head to the left. It could be and can be quite slow, but it's not too bad. Uh, jump up, kill the enemies, do some stuff. Be a hard ass. Be a badass. Sadly, we can't go any faster than this. Uh, but we are heading to the right. Try and get the... <laughs> try and sneak past spider douchebag right here. Jump down. And just go head to the right. Because this is where our third person is going to be. There she is. Now, this one, the first time I played this through, actually, it, it took me a bloody long while to find the next person. Now, who is actually being... Kidnapped and then taken underwater. Just what's the point? What is the point? Anyway, we're just gonna head all the way back to the left, kill the snails, because apparently snails can hurt you as well, which obviously happens in the real world. Head down, you can obviously see there's number four. Bam, 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 bam. Wiggly little wieners in the ground. And then we're good to go. So basically, it's just better if we just go back the way we came now, so we just head up. And up, up, up the ladder, and then down to the water, to the left, and all the way up again. So this is literally it. Now what we're going to be doing is just keeping on going to the right. And basically the rest of the guys are, there she is. Hello, honey. Ah, and there's the next guy. Hello, buddy. And that's it. So just keep heading to the right, finish the level, and away we fly. And like I said, using these wings comes in mega handy. Um, if you do have 0% and you can't use the wings to sort of climb up, you can just actually go underwater and use the ladders as well. So just in case you have any issues there, there's, where there is a will, there is a way in this game. So here we go then. Boss fight number three, so we're already halfway through the game, and we haven't even hit 15 minutes yet. The music in this game, by the way, is, is awesome. <laughs> really, it's really, really cool. I enjoy it. So, here we go then. Now, of course, this one, because our swimming techniques are weird, it, this would be a bit trickier, but... God mode, bro. We is cool. Keep shooting. Kill the dude. Job done. Level four coming up. And here we are then, on to level 4. So now we've got the gem heal power, which of course to us is completely useless. First things first, we're just going to swim all the way to the right, kill... Uh, <laughs> we're not going to kill the woman, we need to save her. And then we're going to head up, again collecting, like I said, it's just definitely worth collecting all the gems, and as many gems as you can. And we're going to head to the right, these drills do nothing except literally slow us down for one second. Uh, go to the right here and destroy things. Destroy penis worms, grab the second woman, not grab her. Head to the left, right up here, and you could have just seen that's woman number three. Boy, ain't we gonna get lucky tonight, wink wink, saving all these people. Hey, I'm not fussy. Uh, we're not going underwater, uh, but there is, uh, again, a couple of crates and stuff you can shoot if you want to, uh, which is obviously always worth doing. Bam. Spider, you can sagma, so can you, spiky turtle boy. Sag it. Uh, and then we're just going to keep going for the moment. Again, there's only one path that we're really going to be taking until we get to the top where we find the other three. Right, so after we've shot and destroyed everyone's livelihoods, we're going to take a little drop down here. 
we're going to head to the left first. Man, that's such an inconvenient drill. Such an inconvenient drill. <laughs> but there is woman number four. Uh, before you head up, just head to the right. Excuse me, Mr. Drill, douchebag asshole. Kill the spiders and then save this guy. And again, we've only got one more left to get. Ooh, imagine four big huge spiders looking at you as you sleep. I hope that I just gave you all nightmares. <laughs> anyway, sorry. So just keep on heading to the left before you head up. Head to the left, there is guy with wiener, <laughs> wiener worm arms or whatever the hell they are. And then we're good to go. Head all the way up, head to the right, and then it's boss time. Super hardcore with invisibility. We are super badass. Now this is just the same thing then as boss number one, he's going to shoot some crap, charge at you, so just keep shooting and jumping. Just keep shooting, just keep jumping, just keep shooting. And on to the penultimate level we go. We've only got six to rescue this time, which is nice. Now, this could look a little bit complicated. And it is if you were doing this sort of on your own, but it's not. So, we're all good. So, head up and then head to the right on this sort of golden path for now. And what we're going to do, as long as we've got enough um, diamonds, we're just going to keep flying all the way up. Now, it's fine if you don't have enough. You, could, you just have to basically go through the middle and keep climbing up ladders and other things, etc. But... Hopefully you should have enough wing space because we're going all the way. It's basically on the right hand side here. There is the first woman. Um, head up once again. Kill Mr. Turtle Neck or Turtle Head, whatever. I don't bloody know. And as you can see, so all the way through the middle is basically just platforms for us to climb on anyway. But there is the second guy. Out of six already. So, but that's basically where these people are then. They're either, there's two on the right in the golden bit and there's three on the left of this sort of area that I am now. So we're just going to keep on heading up, sticking with the left hand side. Ah, for some reason I drop back down, <laughs> even though that's just where I came from. So yeah, like I said, no worries if you don't have the um, any diamonds left to, to use this sort of wing or to fly or whatever, you can literally just use the stairs and all the platforms. Head to the left when you get here, and this is where the next woman is. But again, keep on collecting as many gems as you can. And then what we're going to do is actually head to the right now. And we're going basically all the way to the top on this bit. Um, so from here, what we can do is just uh, actually keep on flying up, avoiding the electrical. It doesn't hurt you, of course, because we're invincible and super cool and badass. But there is the next woman, but the electric things can just sort of, it just pushes you off, zaps your electricity a little bit. Uh, so that's the two from this golden area that we're going to do. Now we're just going to head up again. Um, basically just where the clouds begin is where the next person is to save. My god, we better get some friggin' money for this, I tell you. And then what we need to do then is just keep on heading up. Like I said, just keep getting the gems and diamonds, all that you can. To the left, as soon as you get to the very top, there's the last guy. Head to the right, and then it's boss time. Okay. 
Oh my god, this guy was so hurt. What you had to do, right, was just uh, put guard mode on and just shoot him. Uh, but he, I, I reckon these bosses probably could be a son of a bitch in, uh, <laughs> if you're doing this legitimately. But since uh, Chili Dog are so cool with it and keep putting cheat codes in, hey, we're going to exploit that and take advantage. Bam. So we now have two achievements left and we only have one level left as well. Level six. And it's, it's mad, I know, that this isn't just a five minute game you can complete. It's, it's maddening. Uh, whew, well, isn't that just disgusting? Anyway, here we go then. So, this one is a bit of a son of a Momo, but what we're going to do is head up straight away first, and we need to sort of just head to the left and rescue this first one. This is what obviously the biggest level in the game, and <laughs> trying to get a complete path down to find where these people were was um, quite... It was a little bit challenging, just to sort of uh, find out where they were, um, but you know, I tried to, I did the best I can. Anyway, we're going to keep heading up from where we found the first Ledia. Uh, this guy is annoying, by the way. He will try to uh, just basically put you down into the lava below, so just be very careful of that. Uh, we need to be on top here uh, because we are coming up to the second person. Now uh, we're going to drop down first, and it's going to be just below us. So again, just be careful. This is where, this is why I said that we needed a lot of that percentage, which is why we were collecting all the gems and diamonds. There's a lot of flying and quite a bit of shooting to do. So head to the right, head up to where these sort of double lava waterfall, lava fall pits are. Keep going to the right for now. Now, if you want to save a bit of time, there is down below here, there is actually another woman. I actually miss her and have to go back down. So if you go down, you will find her. And then if you go up, all the way up to the top here then you will find this woman so if you head all the way down first and all the way up you will get two people instead of one um, but I actually missed her I forgot about her sorry honey uh, but we're gonna just we just fly to the left there are platforms above which you can just fly across and jump down if you don't have much wingspan left um, so again just be wary of that as you can see there the platforms on top and then you can just jump down here and that is where to find the next lady. And then what we're going to do is just fly up once again. A lot of flying. And this is why, like I said, we need a lot of gems. Because there's not a lot in this level. But going basically straight up will get us our next wiener-armed worm guy. So the here's Job done. We can't actually go up. Which is... <laughs> well, that just sucks, bows. Alright, you can screw off, buddy. There we go, look, kill that guy. Let's just keep heading to the left on sort of these little platform ledges for now. And what we're going to do is get the next guy. Now, it's definitely worth doing that as well. You can actually bounce on the flying enemies, which comes in in complete handy. But there is the next guy. Now, sadly, it is at this point where I think, oh my god, I missed that woman. And, you know, I comp contemplated on giving up my whole YouTube career, I contemplated, I just wanted to retire from all things working and just live a life of alcoholism and cocaine use. But, of course, I didn't do that because I'm not like that and I would never do that to you guys. Uh, so, again, I did mention it earlier, <laughs> what the hell am I on about for now? <laughs> Uh, but I did mention earlier, so we need to go basically all the way to the bottom right hand corner. And as you can see, I'm starting to run out of percentage stuff. But bouncing on the flying enemies is going to come in handy. Um, so, yeah, what a, what a nuisance this is. So apologies about this, guys. I almost had the perfect path down view <laughs> for this level, but forgot about this little chickadee. Thanks, Hon. That will be one million dollars. No? Yeah, okay, screw you. So, from here then, what we need to do is just keep heading back up. Obviously, that's where the final guy and the end of the level is. But of course, it's when you do have 0%, it is very um, important to sort of just... <laughs> I know it's uh, a lot easier said than done, but of course, you need to try and land on all the platforms because there are no checkpoints, and if you die, you have to start from the beginning again, which, if you've got all of the people, can be a pain in the Snausenhausen. And this... Oh my god, I haven't been without my wings in so long. I'm a changed man, I don't know what I'm doing here. Uh, by the way, we, we have literally almost finished the level now. I'm just trying to find a way up. 
and it was actually by pure coincidence and accident where I managed to start flying on this guy. So again, if you're on 0% like I am, I haven't got no wingspan. Well, just do what I somehow incredibly accidentally did. I tried to kill him and ended up just finding a cheeky little loophole. So cheers for that little bucktooth dude. Now again, of course, if you obviously keep going to the left, as you remember earlier, all the way to the left of the screen, there is a ladder which we can go up, which get, gets us to this uh, point as well. So don't don't fear if you can't or haven't haven't been able to or can't do the same thing that I have done here. So that is where we just found the last guy. Now we're just going to keep going to the right, and it's basically basically it. Kill turtle neck, turtle headed smell dog. And you die, you die, you die. Um, basically, the end of the level is all the way to the right, but there's going to be a little drop down that we can go in... No? No. Now. So, drop down, kill this guy. That is the final level. We've just got to beat the final boss, which, of course, is ridiculously hard with God Mode on. Oof. Man, I almost broke a sweat. I almost sweated out my ass, man. Uh, I mean... I mean, just uh, ignore the second bit. Anyway, so that's level six complete. We have now reached the last level. And again, it's just the same thing. So she's going to try and knock you off the edge. You just keep jumping and shooting. Job done. Now, the reason I, by the way, the reason I wanted to do a full walkthrough of this was because I found that just a couple of minute guide to tell you what to do just didn't really help. Otherwise, you're still walking around for bloody ages anyway. So that's why I wanted to do this full walkthrough just to show you where everyone was, so everyone is happy, huh? Oh, look at that, so we have completed this game. Now, this was actually a very fun game to complete, I will be honest. I, I did enjoy it, even doing it legit me for a bit before I thought, nah, I'll just go into god mode. Uh, but it was a very fun game, so appreciate everyone there over there at Cascadia and Chili Dog, but... That is that then, guys and gals. So thank you so so much for watching. I hope the I hope you enjoyed the game. I hope the guide helped as well. And if it did, don't forget of course to like, comment, subscribe, and share. Don't forget to check me out on all my socials as well: Twitter, Patreon, Facebook, Instagram, all the things. Um, again, and by the way, big big huge shout out to anyone and everyone over at Patreon for continuing to support the channel. I really highly appreciate it. And that is that thing, guys and gals. So thank you so, so much for watching again. I shall see you in the next one. Big love.